All right, number two, not eating enough high fiber vegetables. Now, the critics in the, in, in the area that are gonna be listening to this or watching this on the YouTube channel are going to criticize me for saying that I should be, or somebody should be eating vegetables on a ketogenic diet. That it should mostly be fats and a little bit of protein, but that should pretty much be it, all right? Here's why that doesn't make any sense to me. You still need fiber, and lots of food that have fat in them don't also have fiber in them, all right? High fiber vegetables, are still healthy, by the way, guys. Now, I'm not saying that you have to have success or you, you can't have success on keto without having vegetables. There's, I'm training a guy right now who is doing it and he's having tons of success. Now, he's got a little bit of a, a hang up towards vegetables and so that's his thing and that's fine. We're working around it. We're, we're working on what he can control right now. But not eating things like broccoli and cauliflower and green beans and low carb, high fiber vegetables are still a very important part of your diet. Spinach greens, or salad greens I should say, spinach, you know, uh, uh, baby, baby kale is actually a lot easier to eat than regular kale. Regular kale is like trying to eat sandpaper, all right? I don't recommend it for everyone. Some people can do it, some people can't. But the idea that you shouldn't be eating vegetables and you should just be eating fats and some protein isn't really a average person's sustainable mentality. Now, if you've got epilepsy, which is what the ketogenic diet was originally created out of trying to solve, and you're trying to limit the amount of epileptic episodes that you have, that might be a good approach. But for 99.9% .9 of the population who is doing keto, you need to be eating high fiber vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, green beans, Brussels sprouts, spinach greens, right? One of the biggest advantages you can have on a ketogenic diet is a salad, right? You get a nice fat-based dressing, you get some cherry tomatoes. Oh no, cherry tomatoes have natural sugar in them. Forget about it. If you're that worried about natural sugars from things like tomatoes, then you're a hypochondriac and you need to relax, okay? All right, so number two, not eating enough high fiber.